Okay, so we have understood block theorem. That block theorem is essential to uh, get the solution of a periodic potential. Now we are going to utilize the block theorem here in the chronic penny model. So for this potential, let us write the Schrodinger equation in these two region. Firstly, we will write the Schrodinger equation in this region minus b to zero, and then from zero to a. So first, uh, write for zero to a. So you know the we are writing this form of the uh, Schrodinger equation d square psi plus d x square plus and one thing uh, we are considering that the energy of the electron E is less than this potential V naught. So, we are considering this case and for that we will get uh, for 0 potential it is twice m E by h cart square into psi is equals to 0. This will be the first equation this is for the region 0 to A. And so, this is equation number 1. For the second equation what we are writing d square psi by dx square plus twice n by h cart square we can write e minus v naught into psi is equals to 0 but as we have considered e is less than v naught so we have to write the converse thing means we have to write it in this way we are writing that v naught minus e and a minus n will come here okay this is in the region minus b less than x less than 0. So, this is equation number 2. Now, we are introducing two quantities alpha and beta. Alpha is equals to root over twice m e by h cut. So, these are these are very trivial things we have done in uh, particle in a box in quantum mechanics and beta. Beta is equals to root over twice m v naught minus e upon h cut square. So, by replacing this value into this equation what equations we get. So, this will become uh, alpha square psi and the second equation will become minus beta square psi equals to 0. Okay. So, these are the two equations we have finally got. Now, as you have told you that this potential is periodic in nature. So, you can directly apply the block theorem to write its solution. So, as per the block theorem, the solution of this Schrodinger equation can be written in this form psi of x is equals to e to the power i k x u k x ok. Here this u k x has the period of the potential means it should follow u k x plus a plus b this should be equals to u k of x. I hope this is understood. Let me just match it. Yes, it is well and good. So, this is the solution we get as per block theorem as per block theorem or this is also known as some other name is there Floquet theorem or what is the name uh, block theorem or Floquet's theorem it is also known as Floquet's theorem you can write the name block theorem has another name Floquet's theorem if you know Q U E T Floquet's theorem. So, once we get this wave function, we can just insert this wave function into this Schrodinger equation to get further things. So, there are there is a, a long calculation after inserting the wave function utilizing its continuity differential uh, uh, continuity and differential property of this wave function and doing some calculation will end up. Uh, to this expression which I am going to write. Okay. Uh, I do not think the long calculation you require. For the understanding, I am just giving you the final expression and from that we will try to understand the origin of bands. Okay. So, ultimately uh, you will get an expression like this. I have already defined the quantities alpha and beta 
and your final expression after uh, utilizing the property of wave function and its uh, differential first differentiation continuity and other things you will get end up getting this equation beta square plus alpha square divided by 2 beta alpha sin hyperbolic beta b sin alpha a plus cos hyperbolic beta b cos alpha a is equals to cos k a plus b. So, you are going to get this equation. This equation is a very important equation. You have to remember it if you want to avoid the long calculation. Now, what chronic Penny did after this? He considered a special case. What was the special case? In the special case, he considered that this V naught is tending to infinity and the width B is tending to 0. So, if you implement this special case, what kind of uh, potential it would become? So, V naught is high, this with B is very small. So, it will take up the form of kind of Dirac delta function. You can say the potential will be like this, like this. It will be sharp peak spaced by some width. This 0 to A it is not changing. Only this with B is changing. So, it will become some kind of infinite peaks and V naught tends to infinity, B tends to 0, but the product V naught B is finite. So, after taking this special case, we will see some interesting output, interesting result. This V naught B is called the barrier strength. barrier strength and after considering the uh, this this thing and we will we'll use these values into this equation and we will see how it gives rise to different bands. Anacademy is India's largest online teaching learning platform. You can prepare for various competitive exams like CSR, NET, GET, GEST, IIT exam, TFR. Especially if you are preparing for CSR NET Physical Science, you can join me on an academy class. I cover all the 9 units of CSR NET Physical Science syllabus. My approach is especially I precisely give you the concept of the concerned topic. Then I discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis. Relevant problem based on the topic including previous year questions are discussed. Homework and assignments are also given. This is my profile and if you want to join my Anacademy Plus process, you can enroll for this course. And if you are new to this Anacademy uh, platform, you can take Anacademy Plus subscription using our referral code Felix R. And Anacademy will give you 10% off. So take the Anacademy Plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal. Thank you.